there's a lot of people talking about failure and oh, failure and what happens and like the mindset that you need to have and yada, 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 yada. But not a lot of people are talking about, well, what do you do now that you have quote unquote failed? And that's actually something that I want to get into today, which is, well, what do we actually do, right? What do we do when we have failed? What do we do when things did not go our way? What do we do when we make a mistake? What do we do when we head off into the wrong direction? And the big statement that I actually want you to remember is, so what now, right? Now that this thing has happened, right? Now that this thing didn't go our way, now that this thing didn't pan out, the question that we have to ask ourselves almost immediately is, what now? How do I want the story to continue? How do I want the story to be written? How do I want myself to move forward? How do I want the ending of the chapter to be created? What now? Because Failure is going to be and will always be an incredibly natural and just part of your progression. No matter what, you're going to go through the rest of your life. You're going to fail. 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 You're going to fail over and over and over and over again, right? But the quicker you can get from failure to what now, that question is going to be the way that you can actually make movement going forward. Hi guys, and tell me where you're tuning in from around the world. I always love seeing where everyone's tuning in from. So how do we shorten the gap from failure to what now? Because if we can remove all of the fear, all of the doubt, all of the judgment, all of the worry, all of those things, and just go whoop, right down to here, that's gonna give us the ability to get back up, to keep going, to keep on moving forward. So. Part of actually growing is understanding that failure is just a really natural part of the process. You're going to fail. Like, that's going to happen. You're going to go through that no matter what. And if you know that that is actually part of the game, if that there's a huge learning curve and you're going to make mistakes and things aren't going to go your way, then uh, maybe instead of beating myself up and thinking I need to be perfect all the time, maybe I'm gonna go, okay, I failed. And then we get into this what now thinking, right? Now that I have quote unquote failed, which doesn't actually have the same emotional weight, right, that it used to, now that I have failed, or that didn't go my way, what now? Okay, here's the steps you need to take in moving forward. One is don't run away from your failure. Stay close to it. And what I mean by that is you really want to look at the situation and go, what didn't go right? What didn't go well? What was my part? Were there other people's parts? And then looking at our plan, right? Okay. I said that I was going to do this, 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 and this, right? These five things. I only did three. So was it because of these two things that caused me to fail? Okay. And you gather information like a scientist, right? You gather information, you gather data, you start looking at these things and going, what are the reasons why I failed? And then remember, we're shortening the gap between I'm a failure, I'm the worst person on this planet, and what now, right? We're going right here. Okay, now moving forward to try this again, if I can, or to try something else that I need to, what plan do I need to put into place that's going to help me grow, to move forward, and to actually succeed, right? And so if we go mentally, right? Oh, like, oh, failure, it's not that big of a deal. Well, that doesn't really help us that much, does it? Because it's not going to give you anything strategically to be able to move forward. However, if we really look at it in a way where we go, okay, my strategy was probably off, then that gives us the ability to really move forward and to grow and to change. And then also maybe to turn a failure and to flip it over and to completely succeed, 
right? To have that experience of, okay, well, I failed at this five times, but then I kept on adjusting my plan and changing my approach. And on the sixth time, I nailed it. Great, I'm moving on to the next thing. So if you let failure stand as like this horrible thing that destroyed your entire life and blah, 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 and you never tried it again, you only tried it once, you're gonna be in trouble. But if you turn failure into something where you just go, it's like a feedback system, right? It's just giving me feedback is, oh, well, that didn't work. In fact, if you want to replace the word failure with, well, that didn't work, it's going to help you, right? It's going to help you change. It's going to help you move. It's going to help you shift. And so then when you get to that place of something didn't work, you can just go, well, how do I make it work, right? So if you don't like the word failure because it holds too much of an emotional weight for you, remove it and just go, the thing that didn't work. And then when you come back to it, you go, well, how do I make it work, right? How do I take the thing that did not work and how do I make it work? Part of this is realizing that you've been put on this planet and you weren't given all of the answers. Like, do you have the answers to everything? No, of course not. And so when you don't have the answers to a test, what do you think is gonna happen? You're not gonna get some of the answers right. And so that's as simple as you need to think about it, which is if you're gonna try anything new, there's gonna be a period in your life where you're going to not get it right. It's not gonna go your way. And so if you really actually want to make it go your way, guess what you have to do? Stay committed. Stay committed to being able to move forward, to be able to grow, to being able to change, and to be able to go through that process of getting feedback of something that did not work and just taking it right like a whole complete human being, which is, this doesn't mean that I'm a horrible person, it just means I didn't get the answer to the test right. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it again because I can see the value in continuing to try and to try and to try. So today I wanted to just address this for a lot of people because a lot of people take failure really hard. And trust me, I get that. I understand that completely. But as somebody who is constantly looking to grow and to change and to become better and better and better, I realized that like, well, the reason why you're taking failure so hard, like there's no, there's no point in judging yourself so harshly that you take yourself out of the game. It's much better to actually just like, okay, I'm going to take it and I'm going to move forward and I'm going to try again and I'm going to change my plan. I'm going to adapt and adjust. And I got to tell you, there is no better feeling than failing, 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 and then succeeding. So the payoff is huge at the end.